Hi, my name is Rob, and this is my review of DC Comics Bombshells Chapter 1. DC Comics superheroes fighting crime? Check. Female DC Comics superheroes getting a chance to shine? Check. The same female superheroes fighting crime in a homage to the 1930s and 40s in terms of both setting and character designs? Check and check. Bombshells Chapter 1 from writer Marjorie Bennett and artist Marjorie Savage has everything a reader could ask for from a title and then some. When DC Comics made a decision to do a Bombshells Variant Month, I was thoroughly excited. After all, some of our favorite superheroes could be featured in homages in the 1930s and 40s. Additionally, I thought the covers would make great posters, nor I thought it would be cool if DC did a monthly title. So I was extremely surprised, but happy, when I saw DC had announced a monthly Bombshells comic. Chapter 1 follows the adventures of Batwoman in 1940 as she is left conflicted about her current role with the war going on. Batwoman feels that she isn't doing enough and wants to do more. Although she certainly makes her impact felt at home, whether it's saving the lives of her own family or preventing some crime in a baseball game, the issue also explores her relationship with Maggie Sawyer, a welcome addition, and more about the character. Something important to know about Bombshells Chapter 1 is the amount of fun that Bennett and Savage are having with the title. It certainly doesn't have its serious moments, but the homages, references, and similar nods to the audience help create a fun title with a fantastic atmosphere. It's clear that Bennett not only understands the characters that she's putting a unique spin on, but the environment she's chosen to put them in. Marjorie Savage's art and the rest of the art team's work deserves highest praise as well as a mention. The art is nothing short of beautiful and helps enrich Bennett's writing with each panel. Furthermore, it's impressive to consider how flawless the art is, whether there's an action scene going on or just a simple scene in a bed. Credit also belongs to Weth Abbott for the lettering work and Aunt Lucia for the beautiful cover. I've stated in other reviews that great art is similar to great cinematography, in the sense that you can tell what's going on without words, and that is definitely this can be said of Bombshells Chapter 1. In any given panel, you can say, okay, that's going on there, and that's going on there. That's great artwork. So, final thoughts. It's rare for me to buy a digital comic. Like, I will be one of those people who will buy physical copies of my titles until the day to stop the printer. And even then, I might find a way to have a physical comic. However, that being said, Bombshells Chapter 1 is an excellent digital pickup on Comicology for the low price of 99 cents. It's definitely worth for its 24 pages, and it's a really great read. And the physical copy in August will also be worth the pickup. I would give Bombshells number Chapter 1 by Marjorie Bennett a 9 out of 10. But that's just my opinion. What did you think of Bombshells Chapter 1? Comment below and let me know what you think. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.